Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Train Simulator 2021. Today we are going to be having a look at the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 455 version 2 or phase 2 pack. Can't remember what they call it, but uh, yeah, looks uh, looks pretty juicy, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's certainly something I've been looking forward to, perhaps more than the version 1, the phase 1. Is it a phase 1, phase 2? I think that's what they called them. Um, purely because the phase 2 seems to be looking at a more modern era, and this is the sort of 455 that I'm used to seeing. Uh, the older version seems to have, uh, well, exactly that, older versions, uh, which was a little bit before my time. So in a scenario today where we're working a, uh, oh hang on, DRA on because we're at a red signal. Uh, we're working the 1406 Waterloo to Hampton Court service, apparently stopping at the majority of lampposts on route. And, uh, and the upgrade is certainly something worth having. I believe if you already have Phase 1 you can get this beautiful little enhancement pack for the price of £6.99. That, uh, that seems to ring a bell. And, uh, and it also includes... This is uh, this is one of my personal favourites. The old uh, the old carriages there, the the Mersey Rail style carriage from like the 508s. I think it came from either the 507 or the 508s. So that's where those came from. And you'll have a look. They're actually a completely different body shell shape. And uh, I like that purely because of how many people with OCD uh, that upsets. You see, there's the, there's the other one just there. Uh, yeah, it really does upset people with OCD. I, I think it's a really resourceful way of, uh, of doing. You know, you've got some old carriages, ah, just shove them in the middle of some 455s, it'll be fine. So yeah, we're at Waterloo. Uh, looking around the cab, again, I can't pretend to be much of an expert on the 455. I don't know if, I mean, what what are they? they they're roller blinds, which would suggest, I think, the cab from the the original Dovetail games has been used because they obviously, I don't think they have this feature because they're not electronic blinds. Uh, I think it does come with electronic blinds but these are uh, these are roller blinds. Why just clicking here? Can can we roll? No, we can't roll. I know you can roll by, by pressing F8 and F7. There you go, Waterloo. Uh, where are we going? Fire Epsom 70. Uh, hold on. We're going to Hampton Court. Right, okay. There we go. Let's uh, Let's scroll up. Hampton Court, though. Hampton Court, and I think we're going via Epsom. I don't know if we are, but... Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, hang on. Via Surbiton. Right, where's where's via Surbiton? So if you hold Shift, you do the driver's side one. Via Surbiton, 30. Oh, right, hold on. Doors are shutting. Right. Have we got a green signal? We have. Oh, that's interesting. So it's the... Uh, it's the traditional ding ding, and then when you give the two back, it's it's a whistle like. I wonder why the bell doesn't work. That's uh, I mean I, I purely you know I 100% think that that is probably how it is. It just seems a little bit weird that you wouldn't get the bell, uh, the bell back. Now uh, apparently these units come with AC and DC. Now I um, I find that very confusing because. 455s do not have coat hangers on the roof, they do not connect to fizzy knitting, they have shoes on and they run along the third rail. And uh, if you understood that, well done. Yep, yeah, they don't have pantographs and they don't use, to my knowledge, they do not use overhead wires. So when I found out that they, some of them have AC traction motors, I found that very bizarre. Um, that, you know, that, that you can run them on AC on DC third rails. Or I, I think that's how it works, I don't know. Like I say, I don't pretend to be an expert. I just enjoy driving it up Train Simulator. And uh, I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised, unlike the southern version uh, that we were using in the last video when we were looking at enhancement packs, I actually have all the requirements to the scenarios. Uh, so that's, uh, that's particularly exciting because it means that we're going to see every train on the route today. Jolly good stuff, right? Uh, there's no passenger view with this, unfortunately, much like the southern version. They have got rid of the passenger view, which uh, I do find to be a little bit of a shame. But that's the way it is. I know that Armstrong Powerhouse, they, they never used to do passenger views. And then they've gone through a phase of doing really good passenger views. And uh, and with the 455 enhancement pack, they, they seem to have kind of dropped off again. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're going to reinstate that. Who knows? 
Yeah, I just know how everyone was blown away, particularly with the class 156. That had an amazing passenger view, didn't it? And the sounds were tremendous. The, uh, the 377, they actually made a passenger view for that, along with all the different liveries. Uh, so, yeah, I just kind of find it a bit like, oh, oh no, no passenger view. I sometimes like to sit in the passenger compartment and, you know, pretend I'm, uh, I'm motoring along. Right, so we are actually stopping at Vauxhall, aren't we? We've got a nice yellow... Oh, no, it's a green signal. Yeah, the yellow one is for a different route. Stop reading across the signals, Joe. That, uh, that can land you in some hot water, definitely. And, uh, right, you've got to remember that the brakes on this are not particularly as good. I've been driving the uh, the Siemens De Zero Class 360 quite a bit with the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack and uh, and the 350, not 350, 450 on, uh, on this route. And the brakes are absolutely fantastic. But where it can let you down is when you come to driving something a little bit older like this. It can be easy to forget just how good the brakes are on the Siemens De Zero units. Right, there we go. Is it, uh, is it time to... St oh no, we, we go right down to the end. Oh, there's one coming the other way as well. One thing that I do particularly like about driving out of Waterloo... Oh, look at that for a stop. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, one thing I do particularly like about driving out of Waterloo is the sheer amount of traffic that you see. You know, you've got 444s, 450s. It's a shame they've never done a 458, isn't it, really? Because, I mean, that that's quite a heavy, heavily used train. You know, maybe London Waterloo to Reading. That's a route we've not got with a 458. That, that'd be fantastic. I'm surprised Dovetail haven't done that, to be honest with you. There we go. If you listen out now, we'll have the ding-ding of the bell. There we go. Bizarre, isn't it? Off we go. They're, uh, they're certainly not the quickest things, are they? Come on, notch four. Get going. Oh, what's happening with that needle? Bouncing around all over the place. And uh, the speedo. Now, do they all have... Uh, there we go, so 455, 455. Ah, so some of the 455s don't have the... Uh, oh, hang on. Where are we going? There we go. Look out the front. Yeah, so I knew that not all the 455s had the, the middle carriage from Mersey Rail, uh, but I didn't know if Armstrong Powerhouse would have replicated that, and it appears that they have, which is a really nice... Uh, it's a nice bit of attention to detail there, that not all of them have the same. I believe that in detail you've got the, uh, the 455 slash 7 slash 8 and slash 9. Again, no idea what the differences are. I know some of them look a little bit different round the front. Oh, hello, 159. It's, uh, it's not often you see a three car going into Waterloo, is it? They're normally formed of nine car units. So, uh, oh, right, come on, let's, uh, let's open the taps up. It's gone to 60. Oh, Clapham Junction, there'll be a fair bit of traffic around there, won't there? I hope there's some southern stuff as well. Oh, there we go. It's, uh, it's a shame that out of the original 377, they've not been able to... Uh, because they did the 377 enhancement pack, it's a shame they've not been able to do a 387 pack as well. Because obviously there's quite a few 387s on the network, isn't there? There's, uh, you know, there's Gatwick Express, or there was. Have they still got 387s? I think they do. Um, yeah, GWR, Thameslink, Great Northern. Um, the, oh no, they're 379s that operate with uh, Great Eastern, aren't they? Or whatever they're doing now. Oh, look at that. This this is probably the fastest we're going to get to, uh, 60 miles an hour, in this video. Oh, look at that. Flying along, flying along. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised that Armstrong Powerhouse haven't been able to do a 387 pack from the, uh, you know, the original 377. Maybe one day they will. Maybe it's in the pipeline. Who knows? Uh, I know of a few things that are particularly exciting that are in the pipeline. Uh, I'm, I'm sadly forbidden to mention them, um, but let's just say that uh, there is a project in the pipeline that I'm incredibly excited about, and uh, I shall be sharing it with you at some point, hopefully in the not too distant future, uh, but yeah, I'm very, very excited, and you should be as well. Look forward 
to the coming months, people. I'm telling you that now. Uh, also, trends in world. I'm, um, apparently, they're going to be bringing out a class 150 stroke 2, I believe, with um, Penzance to Truro, is it? And, and the branch line down to St Ives. I think that, that that's very exciting indeed, particularly if they do the 150 stroke too well. Uh, I know that some of the routes on Trends in World do look very, very pretty, don't they? And, uh, you know, oh, what's happening there? Yeah, they do look very pretty. And uh, if they manage to get the 150 stroke too replicated well, uh, then then that will be brilliant. Where are we now? Oh, there's a Gaberth GBRF 66 over there. Oh, look at that. Oh, we've got a Capital Star, we've got Electro Stars, oh, wow. Yeah, I, th I think we need to start slowing down, really. So what line am I actually on? What, what route am I on here? Let, let's have a look. Because I thought... Ah, right, you, yeah, your, your Portsmouth line does actually go down this way. I thought it went down the other way. We're a little bit short, but it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, I didn't realise that you're... Uh, yeah, of course they do, because the 159's come down this way, don't they? Oh, look at that. That's, that's very pretty, isn't it? There we go. We'll have a, we'll have a photo of that. Oh, look at this over here. We've got 159. That looking from Salisbury. Why are you stopping there? Oh, it's not coming from Salisbury. It's coming off the depot. Again, this depot here will probably be full of, uh, of 450s during the day. We saw a lot of those. And my other half was actually surprised. I mean, Transpennine Express has, uh, has 51 Class 185 units. And uh, we counted... Uh, we counted the units that were in uh, in the sidings there. There was actually 51 spare class 450s. There was well, there was more than 51, and uh, we were like, oh my goodness me, they have got more units sat spare than we have in our entire fleet up north. We were like that's that's just mental, absolutely mental. I mean, this is a particularly favorite or a particular favorite area of mine. I love how you've got the different operators, like a Southern coming in on the left-hand side here, making the little cooing noise that 377s do. We've obviously got the 450 that shot down in front of us. You know, it, it, there's just so much going off, isn't there? There's trains flying round, and it's brilliant. If you've never been to Clapham Junction, which I imagine quite a few of you probably have, but if you've never been to Clapham Junction, it's really worth a bit it, a, a visit, a visit just to uh, you know just to sit back and watch the trains. It's it's an enjoyable way to uh, spend the day. You'll also get most of Southwestern and Southern's fleet going through there. Uh, well, Southern pretty much on the operate. What, 377s with the odd 171 and 313 lurking around? It's, it's mainly Electrostars, isn't it? Thameslink. Oh, no, I don't think Thameslink do. They they branch off at East Croydon, don't they? Yes, of course they do. Sorry, I had to tell a lie. Right, so the next stop is Earlsfield. Are we on time? Oh, yeah, we're uh, yeah, jolly good. Send depart at 1418. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be there in time. There we go. So why are we also going to then go Wimbledon, Rains Park? Oh, very nice. I would assume that they only go to Hampton Court in real life. Do, is that where they turn back or do they, do they branch off there? I thought they went down to working. Maybe they do. There we go. Oh, it does look lovely, doesn't it, the 455? So that that is a different style of 455 than the front bed. It looks different to ours, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks a bit different to ours. I, I, is that a stroke 8? Yes, so that's a stroke 8 and we're on a stroke 7. Are we? Yeah, we are. Oh, come on, stop.
Oh, there we go. Right, so the doors are open, but not the front ones. I think I've overshot ever so slightly there. Well, I wouldn't say I'd overshot. That's absolutely fine. The hazard lights are on, which means it's fine. Yeah, of course it is. Beautiful. Um, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit worried that we're not keeping to time here. I mean, we are. We're getting ticks for everything. There we go. We'll give two back straight away. Come on. Off we go. I really don't want to be late. I don't want to get any, any fails for the scenario. No, I don't want that at all. I mean, what time are we due into Wimbledon? Oh, not until 21, and it reckons we'll get there. Okay, well, we'll, we'll have faith. Oh, there's one coming the other way. Hello? <coughs> Apparently they all have different horns as well, whether you're in a stroke 7, a stroke 8, or a stroke 9. According to the trailer, they are uh, they are all separate horns. I'm I'm very impressed with that. So if we've got a green signal there, that means that we will be uh, clear into Wimbledon. Uh, so we may as well just drive as we would uh, to stop at Wimbledon. Sensible, yes. I wonder why that line goes over the top. Got uh, got what I would imagine was the class four five five depot on the right hand side there. Wimbledon Depot, perhaps? Who knows? Hmm? Certainly not I. I must, uh, I must apologise if you can hear the lawnmower in the background there. That's uh, my other half doing lawnmower. I get accused of not doing housework or not doing work. Oh, you just sit there playing on your games, and I'll, uh, I'll do all the housework. Like, yes, but this is important. This, you know, there's lots of people or what I would define as a lot, because it makes me feel better about myself. Lots of people that tune in to watch this video, you know, they rely on me for their afternoon of entertainment. You know, brief 30 minutes of their life. They put aside very generously to watch my videos, and I don't want to let them down. I don't think he understands it, but yeah, it's very important, very important indeed. Don't oh, 450 going the other way. I don't imagine the tennis is on. It doesn't look like there's enough people waiting on the platform, does it? Mind you, at 20 past 2 in the afternoon, they're probably still playing. Oh, we're only just going to stop there. You've, you've misjudged that massively, Joe. Oh, there we go, a bit of a full service stop there. Oh, yeah, didn't get it. I was too far off the platform again, you see. I was on the platform, I mean, there, there you go, you see, you, you're on the platform, definitely. I certainly wouldn't class it as an overshoot. It's certainly nice now that we've got the 455 pack because when you do want to do longer distance runs, um, it, it, you know, it's nice to have it as a scenario train. It's, I don't particularly, and I've said this before, I don't particularly ever load up Train Simulator thinking, do you know what, I'll do a commuter run like this. It's not my style. I'd rather be driving the 444 with him past, for instance. You know, I prefer a good semi-express. Uh, you know, you, you get some distance, get up to some speed. Pootling round the suburbs of London is uh, is not really my thing. Um, you know, I, I'm quite enjoying this. It's, it's a very well done train. But, uh, oh, hang on. But, uh, oh, there, you see, I'd rather be on that one doing the overtaking than the being overtaken. Uh, but, yeah, um... It's good that it's here, though, because I enjoy driving the 444 up and down the southwestern mainline as the 450, you know, both of them. So it will be quite nice to have these as a scenario filler, uh, because obviously some of the scenarios miss out on them, don't they? And, uh, you know, have them at the Armstrong Powerhouse enhanced versions. Um, I, certainly, uh, I certainly find that I do struggle sometimes for scenario trains, uh, particularly with, you know, when you go around Chester. Oh, is that a 319 coming the other way? Oh, it is and all, isn't it? 
at Thames Link. Looks like it. You know, when I do the East Coast Main Line, I struggle for the lack of 185. Uh, I do struggle with the lack of, um, you know, when you're on the Edinburgh to Glasgow, the lack of the 385s or the 344s. That's another one we're missing. It's not 344s, is it? It's 334s. The, those Alstom things that set fire all the time, you know the ones. Um, yeah, I, I do struggle with the lack of those. Uh, the four five eights, of course, round here. There is you, you don't actually realise sometimes just quite how many trains are still missing from Train Simulator. Um, particularly now that everything's gone Hitachi, it would be quite nice to have a Hitachi enhancement pack. A seven hundred. We don't have any of them really. I mean, there's there's the Albi Pierce one. It's by no means perfect, but it does as a scenario filler or a gap filler. AI traffic. But it would certainly be nice to have a proper version, wouldn't it? 707s around here, 331s, 195s, there's, there's so much new stock that's come out in the past couple of years. Uh, I feel like Train Sim's kind of been left behind a little bit. Um, you know, it, it, it always feels with Train Sim you're playing catch up. There we go, we'll bang it in full service and hope that we stop. I mean, we're on an 8 car, so we should do, shouldn't we? Really. Well, I'm not going to overshoot this platform, am I? It's a bit of a stop shot, but we're on it. Doesn't matter, does it? There we go. Right. Ping. Doors open. So, Rains Park strikes me as the sort of place where... Uh, well, not a lot of things stop. Yeah, this this four 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 is going to prove that theory, isn't it? I'm assuming that it's like an every ten minute frequency from these. Are, you know, things going to Woking and do they go to Guildford? I, I don't know to be honest with you. Oh, there we go. Look, he's sailing through, sailing through. Come on. Right, there we go. Notch three. Notch four. It's a good job it's not slippy season. Just bang it in notch four. Off we go. Bloody hell. Next stop in a mile. Couldn't they just put one station in between and make them walk? There's no need for stations that close together, surely. Where are we now? New Molden. Oh, and Surbiton. Got a soft spot for Surbiton. I once accidentally got off the train there. Um, well, I didn't accidentally. I was uh, I was down seeing one of my friends uh, who is also a massive crank from London, who actually now works for South Western, um, and we we ended up at Surbiton just watching the trains. So Surbiton, there's nothing particularly special about Surbiton. You know, it's it's there's no, been no big event in my life that's happened there. I just have a bit of a soft spot for the station. Oh, I know where that is. We also went to Pizza Hut. Yeah, there was Pizza Hut at Surbiton. I mean the the four five five enhancement pack. It's it's very very similar to the three one four in in Glasgow. You know the the Trent's in World version. It's it's very similar. Um, you know I, I find it very hard to be nice about the four five fives. They do a good job. You know they've they've been doing a good job across South London since before I was born. You know they 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 are good units. That they, they from what I've gathered they're very reliable units. Um, I just don't find them that interesting, you know, I, I don't get excited, you know, when I go down to London and see a 455 and I'm like, wow, look, a 455, you know, I don't drop my camera in excitement because there's a 455 there, um, it's just not something that I find I'd do, um, that said, it doesn't mean that this isn't a very good representation of it, but I'd rather be in that. I mean, look at it, it's lovely. And it's going faster than we are.
Anytime now. Come on then, off we go. I wonder where that goes to the left. So this is the problem I have, is that I have such a, a lack of understanding about the, or a lack of knowledge regarding the Southwestern network. I don't know what goes where. I don't know what goes where at all. Um, I'd, I'd love to be able to say, oh, I can, you know, I'd tell you that goes down there. Oh, look, another 159. There's a fair few of them about today, isn't there? I'm assuming this is set in the Southwest Trains era. Yeah, it is. So uh, you won't see any Southwestern Railway livery things on this run. I don't necessarily mind that. I quite, I quite like the uh, the bright, vibrant liveries that Stagecoach had. I, I like how they kind of colour coded them, and uh, you know, Southwest don't seem to be doing that. So, uh, Southwestern Railway, sorry. Uh, they don't seem to be doing that, which is a bit of a shame because I, I quite like how you could easily distinguish what was the fast services, what was the slow services, and what was the metro services. You know, it was quite nice having that that easily distinguishable kind of colour scheme. Berry lands. Are we still running on time? Yep, yeah, we've still got ticks. Perhaps I'm just being a bit uh, a bit rude about stations I've never been to, but it kind of strikes me as a bit of a non-event station. Berrylands, you know, it's just kind of a, a commuter station. I can't see massive swathes of people all coming to Berrylands. Um, perhaps I'm wrong. What's with the, oh, what's that? Fair Zone Five. That's clever. Oh, what's this? What's this kind of triangle that's going on here? It's kind of a, a triangle of. Hang on, you, you see what's going on here? What, what what's that about? What's that mean? Who knows? Oh, I don't know, that's weird. That's very weird. Do we have the... We don't have the triangle on the front, so that's fine. Oh, compressor's going. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that's all you're getting from me in terms of compressor impressions. Compressor impressions? Surprisingly difficult to say. There we go, bang it in full power. I do kind of feel like I've not buzzed back to the guard, because um, obviously these are still guard operated. Uh, I do believe that it comes with the option of driver only operation. If we press Control and R, there we go, door mode, driver operated, guard operated. So if you are operating one of the southern sets, for instance, um, you can do it with driver only. But yeah, the the kind of the little whistle back, I do feel like I've I've not given the guard two back on the buzzer. I mean, where are we now? Where's where's the button? I can't even see the button. What button am I pressing? There's no signal bell. Where's the signal bell? Am I just am I just being blind here? I'm I'm literally not. I'm at, there is no signal bell. On that side now, is this the uh, the southern cab? Is this the southern cab that we're using here? I think it might be, because um, we did find with the older, or the phase one enhancement pack, the uh, the southern cab was used on the older units. Uh, is this the case, that they've been retrofit with no signal bell? The, the probably, you, you're all probably screaming at the monitor now, going, this is, this is there, you idiot, can you not see it right in front of your eyes? Um, excuse me, no, it's not 20 until there. Ooh, 4, 4, 4. Oh, and we're at Surbiton as well. Lovely. I, I just kind of feel like, yeah, I feel like we've been diddled. Um, yeah, it probably is Southern because of the colour of the seat in the driver's cab. Um, yeah. That's a, dis uh, a disappointment if so. Um, 
Yeah, I do kind of feel like perhaps AP haven't given it their best with the 455 packs. Um, you know, the 158 enhancement pack, they actually had a cab fully modelled. Um, you know, the 158 enhancement pack cab, from what I believe, was brand new for the enhancement pack. It, it just kind of feels like a disappointment, but maybe there was too many variations in cab. That said, there's, uh, you know, there's... there's other other things that have different cab variations. Uh, uh, yeah, I just mm, the the kind of whole thing. I kind of feel like there's a lot missing to it. It would be nicer if it had the. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still a very good enhancement pad, but I just feel like the standards that were you know that we've become accustomed to are not there with this. Um, it's just a bit disappointing. That said, it's a heavily reduced pack in price because I've got the other version. So you know. Yeah, just a just a spot on uh, just a tad disappointed, but but there we go. So we're at Surbiton now. Uh, we're on we're on kind of the stopping platform. We get shoved out the way over this side. I was stood just over there on that platform there, and uh, I believe that. Oh, hang on, there's something coming through. Oh, look at that! That's beautiful, isn't it? One five nine. Is it a nine car? No. Bizarre. Okay, fair dues. It's not a nine car, just a six. Well, we're lucky if we get a three car up north. Oh, look, a three car, one, five, eight. Oof. Bit of standing time at Surbiton, haven't we? Then we're off to Thames Ditton and Hampton Court. So let's get it in. Step one. There we go. Bang it in. Uh, bang it in. Notch three. Notch four. Way. You feel it take off, can't you? There's no hanging about on this service. Just, uh, just take it nice and slowly up to 20 there. We may as well only have it in notch 1. There's no point to uh, razzing it up to 20, is there? That said, notch 1 didn't seem to be performing. There we go. Come on then. Up to 35. I think we're going across here, aren't we? Are we, are we going on to the fast? No, we're continuing on. You are not meaning to tell me that we're just going to sit at 35 all the way down. Oh, look, a four. Oh, I thought they were coupled. Nope, they're separate. A 444 four, four and a 450. Uh, heading the other way. Why is it 35? It's a straight line. I mean, I've always liked the modelling of, uh, of the 455, particularly even... Oh, hang on, we're in a tree. Even the, the Dovetail Games version, um, I, I always thought that the southwestern stuff always looked really good. It always looked really crisp around the side, you know, kind of brand new. I think the livery really does suit this, this unit very well. Oh, we've got some sunflowers on the side. Why have we got sunflowers on the side? Do they all have sunflowers on the side? Or, or did they have that? I, I don't know why. Oh, hang on, we're going up and over. Ah, I see. Maybe that's why we're going so slowly. But even then, you'd think we could go to 50 and then slow down again, wouldn't you? Get a bit of breaking in. We're going to have to accelerate to get up the hill, aren't we, really? So let's have a look. Where are we? Are we, are we coming off here? Ah, we, right, okay. So, it, there we go. Hampton Court. Lovely. So, we are actually coming off. We've got the Guildford to Waterloo. Ah, so they do go to Guildford. Yes. 
Oh, the, it's got some 456s stuck on the back as well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And now, did the 455 pack that Dovetail Games did? Maybe they did they do a Hampton Court to Waterloo service? Is that part of the Portsmouth direct line? I can't remember to tell you the truth, but I, I just feel like I've driven round here before. I can't remember why I would have driven round here, other than the fact it must have been a scenario. But yeah, did the original 455 include a scenario from Hampton Court to Waterloo? It must have done. Absolutely must have done. Just dropping down into Thames Ditton now. No doubt I'm pronouncing that wrong. Some of my pronunciations are uh, questionable, is, uh, is the word there. No doubt, even though everywhere else would be pronounced Thames, this is probably pronounced Thames Deaton. I'll be laughed at, you ridiculous northern person getting the uh, pronunciation wrong. Ah, what a moron. Uh, yeah, it's probably Thames Deaton, isn't it? I'm still sticking with Thames Ditton. There we go. Kind of up on a hill here, aren't we? We're looking down over everybody. London appears to have fallen down in the distance. Whoa, dear me. Yep, no sign of London. It's like a uh, like a wasteland. Eight carriages. It's a long train, isn't it, with eight carriages? Give me six carriage trains, it makes me head spin. Why are the boards flashing? Goodness only knows. Ooh, 45 miles an hour. Yeah, it literally was 60 miles an hour, wasn't it? That was the uh, that was the fastest we got to. See if we can get to 45. Ah, we're going over then if it says 30. Right, we better get the brakes on then, haven't we? Oh, we're going over onto the uh, adjoining platform. Nice bit of flange as we do so. Is this actually a terminus station then? Does anything go past Hampton Court? I'm really not sure. Let's have a look. Let's, uh, let's have a zoom in. It looks like a terminus. What a bizarre place for a terminus. Maybe it used to run through, uh, much like Ilkley, for instance, where it used to run through many, many moons ago, and now it's just a terminus station. I'm, uh, I'm sure South West know what they're doing. That's why they'll send. Uh, that's why they send eight car trains down here. But it didn't look for a moment there when we were approaching that, uh, that the train would fit. We'll go less than 15 over the grid, just in case it slams us on. But yeah, so that is the Class 455 Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack Phase Two. Let me know in the comments what you thought. In the description there will be a link as to where you can download this from. Though with it being an Armstrong Powerhouse pack, I'm pretty sure you know that anyway. Make sure you like the video. If you did enjoy the video, it helps me more than you could possibly imagine in your wildest dreams. And again, as always, thank you so much for watching. Your support is really, really appreciated. Subscribe if you do want to see more. We'll be covering more on the old Train Simulator 2021. So make sure you click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. 
Until next time, cheerio. Goodbye for now.